everyone, my name is Wang Liang, the Aragon Watch designer, and welcome to our Aragon Watch presentation. A couple of weeks ago, we did a preview of our automatic tourbillon, um, our, also our C charger and the Evo Meteorite um, automatic. But this time, this video is fully dedicate, de dedicated to the Aragon anti-gravity automatic tourbillon. So now, let's come in and let's talk about this watch. I'm super excited. The super, super excited is because we haven't done this particular automatic tourbillon in a very, very long time. Now, let me, um, you know, go back about 10, 12 years ago when we first started making turbine movements and we started using this brand, this company is called the HZ, it's located in China. Um, this movement 10 years ago, a decade ago and a decade later, they made a major, major improvement. Now, uh, about a decade ago, we made it with the mechanical turbine under the brand Android Virtuoso, 50 millimeter tungsten mechanical turbine. But this time around, we're producing it in two different sizes, which is the Aragon anti-gravity automatic turbine in 42 millimeter and 48 millimeter. Now, let me just give you a brief history of this movement, okay? So when we first uh, started producing, it was a mechanical turbine, okay? Um, it was a, um, the turbine was producing in um, is uh, 21,600 vibration. Now this time, okay, after a decade later, it's automatic, I'm gonna show it to you, okay? It's an automatic turbine. The vibration is 28,800 vibration per hour, 25 joules. The rotor rotate both directions for winding. And you can also see the movement is fully decorated, the top leg, okay, with the Coke de Genève, and also our rotor is decorated with the Aragon Blue rotor. Now, all right, let's go back, and then um, let me share uh, much, much more detail about this watch with you. So this is our first time doing the this particular automatic movement, and not only is fully uh, decorated, beautifully decorated, and also this movement is very, very reliable. Okay, I can em heavily emphasize and explain to you, um, this movement is very, very reliable. We have a long history using this. Um, and then the next thing I wanna share with you and and explain to you, what is the difference between an open heart automatic versus a uh, turbion? As you can see, if we're focusing at the six o'clock position, for example, okay? You see this turbine right here. You see how it's rotating 360 degree, okay? Versus the open heart is you can see the balance wheel and it's just simply rotating left and right, left and right, okay? So the benefit of this is um, as they were uh, created many years ago that they believe with having the balance wheel being able to rotate, which is turbine, 360 degree, it will produce more accuracy, okay? Because of the gravity, uh, because of if you're constantly, ro you know, being able to rotate 360 degree and your wrist is also moving, that the movement will produce much higher accuracy, okay? Versus automatic movement where the balance wheel is stable, and it just rotate left and right, you know, uh, red uh, is producing 21,600 vibration or 28,800 vibration, okay? So that's the difference between open heart and turbion. And also the turbion is much more complicated to assemble. I mean, based on what we're seeing here now is you can see the cage, but actually under the cage, you can also see the tuning fork is on the side right here. And then you can also see the gear, okay? It's maintaining, you can see the jewel. Um, all the wheels and gears are being support and making the turbine rotate, which is, you know, it takes a lot of, um, I would say, 
skill to assemble the turbine, and also it takes a lot of micro components to be able to put, put this together. So, all right. Um, next thing I want to talk about is this is a sapphire crystal. It's a double curved sapphire crystal with anti reflective coating. Okay. Uh, chapter ring on the outside, dip dish style. You can see all the RA index is being located on top. Well, I should say the chapter ring is cut out, and each one of this our index is hand assembled to the dial. All right, so what you can see here is yeah, in the turbine cage, you see limited edition. Each one is being produced only 50 pieces per size and per color execution. And you can also see automatic and the vibration per hour. All right, so turbine automatic, 20,800 vibration per hour. So one thing I want to emphasize is this is not a hacking turbine, okay? So what it means is when you pull the crown out, um, the time the turbine cage will not stop. But in the normal position, okay, you can manually wind it, okay, to uh, put more energy into, into the barrel. All right, so we have five different colors. So what we call this is a champagne. Uh, this is like a, uh, I call it ocean blue. It's, it's, it's a darker, you, you might have seen this Pantone from the Aragon brand. I've used it a couple of times and I love the highlight of the black hands, the black indexes, contrast with the dial, okay? So the next one over here is a white dial, full loom glows green, okay? And if you, uh, the next one here is what I call the stealthy gray with the sunray finish. I love this too. If you're, if you're more into a, you know, mono color, uh, go for either one of this. And if you want a full loom at night, definitely goes with a, I mean, go with a, the white dial that glows uh, bright green in the dark. All right. And then the last is the, what I call, um, what we call is red, but it's not so much of like a deep wine color. It's more on the red side, for real. This is really, really beautiful done. Somebody asked me, is that more like a red or is that more like a crimson? So I would, I would say it's more like a crimson, okay? Uh, it, I would say in between like a crimson, a burgundy, and a red. It depends on where the light hits on the dial. It's definitely, I'm telling, you all, I'm telling you guys all out there, it, this turbine is definitely very, very well made. Uh, the craftsmanship uh, of the movement is amazing. Um, so what else I can tell you is, um, is housed in this anti-gravity case, the thickness, because due to the movement thickness, okay, as, as much as we uh, reduce the, you know, from the case back, you see how tight, maybe this is not a good example, maybe let's go back to the champagne because I already removed the fume. So as much as what we can do to reduce the thickness of the watch, okay, you can see how close the rotor to the case back window. All right. So I love how I I love a watch is being built like this. I mean, everybody has different opinion, right? But what I'm trying to tell you is most of the thickness is being done in the case back. But what you can see is if you just look at the case thickness. I would say approximately about 13, you know, 13 millimeter from top to bottom. But if, if you add up the bezel, the crystal and the case bag, it's total around like 18, 18.5. Um, it doesn't feel thick to me. Okay, let me take off what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the uh, Dark Master 42, the Sapphire. And I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on both so you can see the comparison. All right, so you can see the anti-gravity bracelet. You see it's not being done just like a rectangular link. It's being done in a hexagon shape, which I really, really like it. 42 millimeter. I love the way it feels on the wrist because it's, um, it's it feels very, very well made. Seriously, um, not only this particular, particular watch, but all the Aragon watches are very, very well made. I have to emphasize this. Um, no gap, no space in between the wrists because the curvature of the first end link is being done very, very precisely. 42, you know, it looks awesome on my wrist. And some people ask me, because it's a 42 millimeter, how's the window? 
of the 42 millimeter. It's quite wide. I have to you know share with you. There's not much of a uh, lack of dial because we're trying to go from edge to edge, but we still remain you know a fixed bezel for the anti gravity. So this is what I'm wearing the champagne. All right. So next, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put on the red, and you can see what it looks like a 48 millimeter. Now I have six and a half inch wrist. You can see how the first end length, how it tapers to my wrist. No gap, no space in between. Love, I love how it feels on my wrist as well. It feels solid. It feels like a very uh, expensive watch. And I know you guys are gonna be, um, I already heard some of the comments. They said, wow, it's incredible how we can, you know, what the price, the origin price can do for an automatic turbine. Um, so, let me explain once again for all the new viewers, new collectors to the Aragon brand is we spend close to zero everything time, every, advertising dollar. Okay. What we, what we do is we save all the advertising money and using the word of mouth of our quality, you know, and people just tell their friends, their family about our brand and we go sell direct to our collectors, our watch enthusiasts. So there is no middleman. So at the end of it, it benefits you. And also our brand philosophy is we build high quality watches at an affordable price. Not that these are, you know, low quality uh, manufacturing or, uh, or or components. No. So again, it's an automatic tourbillon HZ3C00 uh, Sapphire. You know, if you look at a lot of the watches out there, they're not using Sapphire. When you buy a sapphire, a watch with sapphire crystal is usually quite expensive. Okay, we're giving you an automatic turbion. So check out when you see this video, come to our website. And as soon as you see the intro price, you will be very satisfied with the watch. You know, I would say fairly, you can see a turbion in the market for a Chinese turbion, like around a thousand. 1200 or 1500 I think it's pretty fair. But when you go come to see our intro price, you'll be shocked, okay? Because what we do is in our introductory price, we'll run for sometimes two weeks, three weeks to four weeks, and then we'll go back to the normal price. Okay, so once again, limited edition, only 50 pieces per color and size execution. Uh, the number is engraved in the back. Um, again, screw down crown, make sure you lock the crown and is also you can go swim and shower with this watch okay so we don't tell you oh okay this is water resistance stay away from water only splash resistance you can as long as you lock the crown you can swim and shower and do any water activities with this watch but not you know deep sea diving like five thousand meters or 500 meters okay so all right thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for another five to ten seconds because we want to show you the loom shot Especially pay attention to the white dial because this is a fully glow, uh, uh, glow dial in, in green. Matter of fact, I can see it, you know, in our studio light. Even though it's a white dial, I can see like a tinted yellow green coming out from the background. Very, very cool. All right. So I thank you for tuning in and I will be um, probably you'll see me uh, in uh, next week or two. And uh, we're going to do a video of the C Charger Titanium. Damascus bezel insert meteorite dot, uh, uh, collection. All right, see you guys.